Hello everyone, this is Dreadwing2029, back again doing a custom highlight on Transformers The Last Night Barricade. Now I pretty much did this kind of right after my review of Barricade because much like um, The Last Night Optimus Prime, I really wanted to customize him so finally got my chance and here he is in his police car mode so before I start this off I do want to mention some of the paints I use for this custom so first off we got this metallic blue these are once again the Tamiana colors metallic gray a new color uh, white black and you got like the standard flat blue and you got the titanium silver and also you got the gold leaf once again and finally my favorite gun metal so those are pretty much all the colors I use for barricade and it was fun to use some of the new colors like the metallic gray and the white on him as well. So that's really good. Now we're going to talk about the vehicle mode and what I've done with him. So let's go for the front. So as you can see, I painted the front with the titanium, uh, not the titanium, the metal gray gray which is on the grill here like these bits here the um, the bars and well as the front the top here and also down here also painted these spiky pointy bits metallic gray even underneath um, the headlights I which is the early bit that's painted the uh, metallic blue kind of wanted to give these Kind of nice metallic blue headlights and as well as these bits which are actually also lights as well and also added kind of had like a bit of a fade effect in the in the grill kind of make it look like it's like a fade effect it's the main thing um let's go to the hood kind of give that warmed look on the um the bonnet of the car, which near the um, vent intakes, which is just from the engine. Uh, this bit is um, painted the black, which it's not the only bit that's black, which I'm going to get to. Um, the wipers are painted this ti the titanium uh, silver, which is very carefully and with very pa with very much patience. Um, the roof of the car is painted all white. That's the use of the white. Um, metallic grey for the wheels. Uh, these, these very tiny detail. I'm trying to get the focus. I also painted the titanium. Um, the metallic grey, I should say. Um, the door handles painted um, the met um, titanium silver as well as the little um, near the, um, the siren bars pretty much these are painted once again titanium on the back of the car you got like titanium around the bumper and you also got um, the um, gun metal painted the exhaust um, the license plate is painted white I want to do something with that Later in a later date, this is painted um, um, gunmetal grey. I can't talk at the moment, but that's his vehicle mode progress so far, and I've got to say I'm really, really happy with this. So let's transform him and see what he's like. So you know how I mentioned that, or may have may not mentioned in in my review of The Last Night Barricade, go check that out by the way, I mentioned how there's two little tabs where the uh, roof of the police car that were, that has um, very stressed out, that they have stress marks and everything, so 
the inevitable, the inevitable has happened. One of the tabs have broken off. And I've actually tried to glue them on twice and it's failed. It pretty much comes off so, so easily. That's the problem with plastic tabs. They're, they're pretty much prone to breakage, especially clear plastic tabs, which are prone to break. But this is not really a problem for me because all the other tabs tab in to the um, rest of the vehicle when using vehicle mode, so I don't really have a big humongous problem. This is this doesn't stop transformation at all. He still looks fine in vehicle mode, and if you're watching robot mode, he doesn't have that annoying back kill anymore. So, which is good. So he looks much more cleaner without a big windshield on his back. So with that out of the way, now we can talk about Barricade's robot mode and. I'll give you a bit of a look at his robot mode before I start talking about it, just to see what's different. He looks really, really good. Um, I'll kind of start from the head and work my way down. So the head is pretty much done with the metallic grey on like the top, as well as the little mandibles there. Um, this bit here, the base of his head, is painted metallic grey. I also forgot. On vehicle mode, these um, little intakes here are also painted as well, and it pretty much continues from the vehicle mode down here to the, his chest, which is also painted the metallic grey. And as you can see, it's got the gold leaf. And he has like you got like these small little pipes here, and you also got these bits here, and also bits near the crotch. As well, and if you let me show this off, if you lift up his chest, he actually has painted in detail. You got more of the detail continuing from the waist bit from here. Uh, these bits here are painted the gold leaf as well, and this bits on the chest as well. So it's cool. I wanted to kind of paint the underside of the chest, kind of like um. Pretty much hiding the detail, and when you open it up, you get a bit of surprise. Or when you transform it back, kind of give that little bit of a um, bit of a surprise. Um, the legs here, um, the upper bits here, are painted the white, and just to kind of like continue down, to like from here to here, kind of continue down the white. Um, these tab bits are painted in. These what these legs are painted in. Yeah, to, um, the metallic grey as well as the gold leaf continuing on this really nice molded in detail in the middle of the legs. Now the actual legs have, um, the side of it has the titanium silver again and continuing on the feet it has it on the side as well as underneath the feet and through pretty much in the middle of the feet as well. And these bits are painted the, the standard um, blue, the gold leaf right here, as well as on the little toe bits. Um, now the arms. Um, these these parts here on the arms, the uh, bits uh, where the shoulder is, near where the shoulder is, is painted white, as well as the metallic grey and once again gold. Kind of continue down the gold, so a little bit of gold there, there, and continue down to the um, knuckle um, busters on his uh, on his hands, fist, which are also painted a uh, metallic grey. So most of this custom is essentially um, metallic grey, pretty much, with some more painted detail added in with the gold leaf and. The titanium silver, which is pretty much what I want, and a little bit of the white. So his weapons, um, here's his uh, spinning, um, I guess I'm calling this axle gun. Um, this is originally uh, base coated painted with black. Um, it has the titanium grey dry brushing and a little bit more added on to give it that um, 
I know, to give the bottom of the exhaust a bit of a worn effect and the top of the exhaust pipes are painted this titanium that kind of look like chrome a bit with like that chrome exhaust pipes and it still um, goes around his arm and I'll just demonstrate that obviously it's, I still haven't got rid of the tabs um, I didn't paint the inside of the axle gun because I still want to be able to tab into his arms. Um, he's still got his pistol, which is, once again, it was fully repainted black and has the titanium silver. I kind of want to give like a, kind of like a police officer looking uh, pistol gun. And it does have a bit of the gold leaf on the barrel. Make it look like it's been fired a bit. There's the little handgun. And um, there you got the baton, the base, the baton. The police baton. And once again, it was fully repainted black like the gun and the actual gun. You can, in the middle of it, it's kind of what I left in. I just painted the rip titanium silver and the top bit titanium which and also I added a bit of metallic blue in the middle of it. It's meant to look like a stun stick. That's what I'm pretty much meant by with the if I can focus for a second what the titanium blue is in there. It's meant to be like a stun stick. So that's very cool. Um overall I'm really liking the paintwork I did. Now this is still technically classed as a bit of a work in progress. There's still a bit of detail that I need to paint, um, paint work that needs to be fixed up and also maybe a little bit more, again I pretty much said this before, <laughs> detail that needs to be fixed up. I don't know why I'm saying this again but still. Um, so this is um, Last Night Custom Barricade. I hope you like the job I did, I'm probably going to post up photos of him on Facebook, customized until he's finished. I, on Facebook, I did a album showing his work, work in progress. Um, oh, that's what I also got to add. I got to add a spoiler to a bigger spoiler to the back. Why am I thinking this now? But anyway, this has been Dreadwing 2039. Thank you for watching this custom highlight and I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends and also ring that bell for keep you updated for more awesome content like this. So yeah, so this is Dreadwing 29 and say to punish and enslave.